Antibiograms are helpful tools that assist clinicians in making the best empiric treatment decisions. Remember, the keyword here is empiric. While additional patient factors must be considered before making the best empiric antibiotic decision, we must first and foremost understand the resistance patterns of pathogens that have been seen within your institution. This is where antibiograms come into play. They aid in choosing the right antibiotic therapy when culture and susceptibility information is not yet available. So let's dig a little deeper into what exactly is an antibiogram. An antibiogram is an aggregate summary of susceptibility data at an institution. It usually is provided by your institution's microbiology lab. Having an aggregate summary of susceptibility, whether a bug will be stopped due to an antibiotic, allows clinicians to have a bird's eye view of resistance patterns of a particular pathogen at your institution. So for instance, let's review a scenario. One, you suspect your patient has a urinary tract infection and you've confirmed the presence of infection. Two, your micro lab confirms the presence of E. coli and is currently performing susceptibility tests and it's gonna take a few days for it to return. Three, you've now got your bug, but you need to think of the right drug to choose to get your patient started with treatment. Here's where your antibiogram comes into play. Four, you would utilize your antibiogram to determine the best antibiotic that will empirically treat the suspected pathogen. Ultimately, your objective is to choose an antibiotic that has the highest probability of being susceptible. Generally, we're looking for susceptibility greater than 80%. Five, and let's not forget the most important step. When the patient's cultures and finalized susceptibility information becomes available, reevaluate your regimen. Streamlining antibiotics is the best decision we as clinicians can make to help stop antibiotic resistance. So when in doubt, remember these four fast antibiogram facts. One, empiric treatment. Antibiograms should be used only for empiric treatment decisions. Two, consider the patient. Although antibiograms provide very useful information, you must consider other factors related to the patient and factors related to the antibiotic chosen. Is the antibiotic a good choice for the type of infection suspected? Are there other comorbidities that may make one antibiotic option better than the other? Three, reevaluate. When the patient's cultures and susceptibility information is available, reevaluate your antibiotic regimen. And lastly, number four, know when to say no. Use established criteria to determine the presence of infection and causative pathogen. However, is there a high probability that this may be a virus? If so, maybe antibiotics are not the way to go.